and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heine, physical therapist. Here we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. We're going to go over seven daily habits to greatly improve your balance, plus we're doing a giveaway. Oh, the giveaway. So if you want to check out our giveaway, go to bobandbrad.com, go to the giveaway section, and you'll see that we are giving away this week. It's called Peach Choice, and it has everything to do with the video. In fact, it's a balance pad. Yeah. And they have two sizes. One is 20 inches by about 16 inches. They're two inches thick. Yeah. And the other size is about 15 inches by 13 inches. It's two inches thick. <laughs> but these are fantastic, really well uh, made, uh, high quality. Yes. Go on, Bob. Oh, I'll talk I'll talk more about it later. You'll also find it on Facebook, Bob and Brad. The contest will be pinned to the top of the page. Give you a chance to win a couple. Um, if you want a short version of us, go to Twitter or Instagram or TikTok. Did you so, say go to bobandbrad.com? Yeah, did. I oh, mentioned oh. that right away. I by the way, you can also use this for sitting on, right, Brad? You said yes, yes. I keep mine out on my out on my patio deck. Now it's a little cooler. I sit on it. Keeps your bottom warm. It's comfortable, and you can kneel on it as well. Sure. I love them. A lot of multi-use. Really well made. The first things we're going to show you, though, you don't require any equipment. Then we'll show you maybe a couple things you can do with the pad. Sure. Here. So. Mm -hmm. The first thing I'm going to recommend at home is that you actually walk around with your stocking feet. Now yeah. this is from me personally. I, again, I, I'm going to give an excuse here first, Brad. I'm tall. I'm six yeah, foot six. That's true. I have small feet and I have high arches. So I don't have much that I'm balancing on. Well, those feet aren't that small. Just that you're tall. Yeah. for tw I mean, size 11 and a half for, for a six foot six guy. Well, is small. That's, yeah, that's pretty small. Yeah. So anyway, I, I, for a long time, was walking around with these, uh, with this, some slippers that were really thick soled. Yeah. And... My, my feet got weaker and weaker, and my balance was terrible, Brad. I mean, like, I remember I came out of a store one day with my wife, and I went like this. She goes, what's wrong with you? It was a store or a bar. Yeah, it was a bar. <laughs> it was just a store. So I started walking around with stocking feet, and it strengthened the muscles of my feet. Mm -hmm. And I, honestly, I, it, I've improved significantly just by doing that. And I'm sure there's a lot of viewers saying, well, yeah, there's a lot of, not a lot, but there's a fair amount of information on barefoot walking, barefoot running, to strengthen those intrinsic, the intrinsic small muscles, muscles of, yep. of the foot. So there's some good basis. There. The other one that's really helped me, Brad, is doing heel raises. Oh. Now, I thought my calves were getting pretty strong because I run. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. but it wasn't the case. So I actually, a couple times a day, and you can do these just throughout the day. I mean, while you're standing and talking to people, yeah. um, you can do toe raise, or heel raises. But I also do some single ones. No, I just hold on to something yep. and do it because it's a little bit difficult to do. Right. So you don't want to do it safely. Do yeah. You, do you do the opposite and do dorsiflexion? I and don't. I, I just haven't found the need for that one. Yeah. But I think it's a good one for it's people to do. It's a good one, to too. So what he's saying is not only raise the heels, but also raise the toes. And that, you know, if you have a tendency to fall backwards, that's a good one to help that. But when you do it, you have to have... Hold on yeah, to something solid. Safety first. Yep. Um, you got to maybe have a wall next to you, a countertop, or a chair. A lot of times I have people go to the kitchen sink so they have yep. their fingers to wrap around something because, you know, you may go that direction. So, in fact, like while you're doing dishes, if you I don't have a dishwasher, you could go ahead and hang on to the yeah. sink. Or while you're brushing your teeth, you know, there's, there's all these sorts of things. Yep. All right. Next thing, while you're walking, you can throw in um, – this while you're walking. Brad, we've had some of our patients do this. Are you well, okay? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm checking out my mic. Oh. Go on. When you're walking, we actually have people do this. And this is one where you got to be safe. I'm going to have you move the chair, oh, Brad, I'm just sorry. for a second. Um, and you might have to walk along a wall or something just in case you lose your balance. Sure. But I want you to look down, up, side to side. It really taxes your balance, yep. especially as you get older. And we have patients do this because what happens is they'll be at like an event. Like, like Christmas or something like that. And they were walking along and someone will say, hey, Grandma, how are you doing? And she'll go like this and yeah. then she'll fall because yep. your, your body has to adapt to the, the, the vision changing rapidly. As well as that head movement all has to do with your balance. Yep, so you're going to work on side to side, up and down, up to one angle, one to lower angle, you know, doing all that while you're walking. So right. just something to work on. Another one, sit to stand. So like whenever you're going to uh. get out of a chair – Instead of just getting out once, get out three times. <laughs> so, you know, when you, 
Um, when you're gonna get up, you can go ahead and, and if you have to use your hands, go ahead and use your hands, use your, you know, the arms of the chair. But go ahead and do three right in a row. Keep the legs strong. Keep those buttock muscles strong. This exercise, there, was a, is going there was a study on it, and this was the number one exercise to prevent falls in the elderly. Really? Yep. Interesting. S you know, a simple sit to stand because it works all the muscle groups. Usually, not usually, but oftentimes people do have a fall getting out of a chair, so it helps you with the strength and the balance for that function. Plus, for walking, it works similar muscle groups. So, and you can obviously do more than three. You can throw in a time through the day where you might do ten. Right. I mean, um, yep. And you can work on it eventually to the point where you actually get out of the chair without your arms and just maybe there you go forward and do some of those it depends what house. level you're at right. right a hip abduction say also big muscle group involved in balance you're right so the muscles that are going to stop you from waddling they call so, that trendelenburg, trendelenburg but otherwise right. the waddle but you can just go go ahead and push you're going to have your toes point straight and forward not this way yeah, right down here and you're going to go off to the side like this now you can do these on the floor too. You could, you can, you know, lay oh. on, on your side. You're gonna show up, Brad. You could do it in the bed. Yeah, yeah. Roll over in bed and, and and you know do five or ten of these on each leg. Otherwise, yeah, otherwise you walk circles and uh, kick your spouse. <laughs> do you want to show the? Uh, do you call it karaoke or what do you call it? Well, I call it the karaoke or the grapevine. The grapevine. Do you yeah. want to show that, Brad? Uh, this one. Can you throw me the balance or the oh, booyah sure. stick? Um, this one, you know, even if you're fairly good, it can tax you a little bit. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna, you may want to have a cane. Uh, we use the booyah stick, of course. Uh, well, again, so, you could do it against the wall. Wall, a cupboard yeah. where you can put your hands, and then you. So here, the right foot goes in front of the left foot. Skip, left foot behind. This one, I when I teach work with patients, I say sometimes they have a little bit of a problem, but once you get used to it, it's fine. But it is a really nice. If you've had a hip replacement, don't do it. They, right. Yeah, they don't yeah, like that mo that, that, that cross in the midline. The last one uh, we've mentioned this one before too. Like also, when you're brushing your teeth or something, just try standing on one leg. Sure. So this is where I still have some trouble, Brad. I've used this quite a bit with uh, patients yeah. that, that have balance problems, and I'll you know have them at the cupboard, or you know if they're really high level, brush your teeth while you're doing it. Right. But, but if you're Balance is pretty poor. Put your hands on the cupboard. Look at me. I'm still terrible at this Yeah, one. but I can't wait to see you when you're 80. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's going to get better. I'm going to work on it. Yeah, I can just so, see us doing videos in 20 years from now. You know, fall <laughs> over left and right. So now, if you want to make go advanced, you can get the pads. Oh, yeah. And uh, if you're a therapist, by the way, you should have one of this yeah, around. They are really handy to use. And, yeah. and patients really like them as well because it's... Now, you can just do have them do squats on these. You can have them work on touching forward, touching back, touching to the side, mm -hmm. and and going back like this. See, I'm struggling on this one, too. I would take the plastic yeah, off, though. I would take the plastic <laughs> off, right. Yeah. But, yeah, no, they're, they are really, really nice. You can and do even it. standing on a single leg, it just makes it a yeah, little harder. Yeah. Throw the ball at me, Bob. I've done All this right. with younger patients, you know, people that are maybe in high school and they've got a sprained ankle, and I'll have them, you know, have them throw the ball while standing on the pad, and it's, I can't hardly do it. Okay, now you're <laughs> wanting to show off, yeah. and now you're finding out. But it shows, you know, yeah, it's and not it, just for old people. Yeah, it works hard. It works you harder. Yeah, it's a wonderful so, device. So. All right. We'd like to hear your comments in below. If you guys have any uh, ideas on how to improve balance, we're always glad to hear them. Yeah, yeah. People so. will converse back and forth in the comment section. That's always fun to read those yeah. conversations. You never know where they're coming from. That's right. Could be across the world. We got some wacky ones out there. Bob, why, Bob, Thanks why? For